Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and welcome to part three of Surviving Mars. We'll see how well I do that. Oh, we have new anomalies already. Isn't that great? And we have more concrete. So one thing to note, actually, is this metal deposit here is uh, is deep, and I can't. I don't think I have the technology to get down into there. I have the rare metal extractor. I have the metal extractor, but I don't have a deep metal extractor. Now to extract materials, I need to it needs to be close to a base Research with people in them complete. or a colony dome. So let's just slow things down. Let's actually, sorry, let's start building out our colony. We're going to need some living quarters. That's a good start. What else would we want to put in there? Uh, nursery. We want to make something that makes people happy. A space bar. People definitely are happy if there's a space bar. But we're also going to need food. People are happy if there's food, so let's actually start making... Uh, wait a second. Oh, life support will have it, right? No, life support doesn't have food. I thought it would be obviously in there. But I am clearly a numpty. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe I haven't actually... Oh, there's the hydroponics farm. Okay. I was looking for the other farm, and that's why I was confused. And the other thing that I will need to make them happy is... We've got a bar, so let's add a grocer. So that they have a place to buy some food. Okay, there we go. So we get a grocer, we get a farm. And we're just going to need to wait for that stuff to get built. Meanwhile, we're going to need more power going on up here. Now, we got research going on. So we just completed the Explorer AI. So we generate 100 research per sol for each radio controller, RC Explorer. Multiple vehicles result in collaboration losses. So, wait, does that mean that it's not as good? AI specifically tailored for our explorers. will think for itself. Great. Low-G drives, physics, that's kind of cool. See, some of these actually have quotes. For example, the... Where is it? Uh, Mars... Cra I don't know, one of these ones here, I remember seeing a quote from Buzz Aldrin. Oh, there you go. The universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. Indeed, the universe never seems to make enough sense to me. I have to do lots of research to actually figure out what the right answer to half these things are. What else? Ah, here we go, under low-G high-rise, a quote from Buzz Aldrin. I suggest that going to Mars means permanence on the planet, a mission by which we are building up to a confidence level to become a two-planet species, with a better chance of one planet getting hit by an asteroid. We don't really want that to happen, do we? So I'm just checking out, We're, we are producing fuel now, and this thing is refueling, which is good. This thing is actually refueling as well. That's good. So I'll be able to send one of these back to get more stuff because right now, if I go to the cargo, we have no available rockets. So we need to send one back to Earth. We don't have to deal with launch windows, but we do have to wait in the, the, for the time it takes to get one way or the other. There's a real danger that I actually end up running out of, you know, materials or whatever. To the Red with me. Kim this is not producing oxygen because it's not powered. Plants. Here we go, like, just put that there. <coughs> okay. So once this is built, we'll bring people across and we'll start uh, mining some of this stuff so we can send it back to Earth. We got a lot of rare materials here. We can actually make money off of these sector things. Scanned. Okay, what does the sector scan say? Oh, look, we found a... Cable fault reported. We found something cool here. But that's not what I was looking for. We found another anomaly there. Hey, have you explored this? I think you should explore it. There you go. Okay. When you're ready to go, let me know. We ha Now, the cable fault is there. And hopefully we will have a little drone come and fix it. Look at it working away. Aww. Oh, that's my boy. 
look at you. It's almost like you're dancing to this music, huh? Do do do. If, if they could synchronize that to the music, that would be pretty funny. There, games designers, I'm doing your work for you. Okay, I'm gonna move you down here because you need to deliver some materials. So the only problem is that we do not have we any have way alone. of getting these various materials. And you know what? Oh look, we are actually full up on medals right now, which is a good sign. <coughs> you go. What are you doing? Your power is there. You will be... Once you're through that, we'll make that happen. Okay. So, trying to figure out the best way to go through this. Once we get the hydroponics farm online, hopefully, maybe I should build another oxygen tank. Actually, I think we should build some more power. Anomaly analyzed. Solar panel. Here we go. New text are available for research. But actually, we need this one. Let's come out of the build menu, find this. Send yourself back to the power. Uh-oh. Send yourself back to the power. Uh-oh. Why is that not going? <laughs> oh, there. Finally. I was getting worried it wasn't going to work there. So I'm kind of leaving this thing out here because it creates a lot of dust which messes everything up. We should definitely start harvesting that water at some point. In fact, I fully expect that as soon as my colonists get here they're going to use too much water because this farm is going to need it. But before all that we're going to need to get all the food, all the fuel out here. Man, this is this is kind of complicated. So let's actually get the get the power headed out towards that location because that's what we do want. go there and then we're gonna next thing we're gonna do is in the build menu we are gonna look for a, a uh, fuel a water miner sector scanned anomaly found unexploitable deposits what the building requires power really wait I can't exploit that yet. Uh, not exploitable with current technology. Let's cancel that for now then. <laughs> Let's not build this until we actually have a useful thing. So I need to put another moisture evaporator out there. I guess I'll stick it on the other side of this thing. So yeah, moisture evaporator. So we need to make sure power is supplied to this and uh, all the other life support stuff. There we go, that's that. And then we're going to bring the... We're going to hook it into the power, into the fuel, the, 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 the water! That's it. There we go. Down here. There. Everyone is happy. We've now got water coming. So this is using water. So this is presumably using, like, the Sabatier process. And the Sabatier process is where you take carbon dioxide and hydrogen, you end up making methane and oxygen. So that's fuel that's pretty good for making rockets. You can make these little, these methalox rockets like SpaceX is talking about. Now that was originally proposed by Robert Zubrin as part of Mars Direct. The idea is that you would manufacture the fuel for your spacecraft on the surface. But there's other options. There's the carbon dioxide rockets. Now carbon dioxide rockets, they, uh, you just take, the, sorry, carbon monoxide rockets. Pardon me, carbon monoxide. What you do is you take the carbon monoxide and you, you split it. You basically create uh, carbon monoxide and oxygen, those two will burn together. And the specific impulse is pretty low, but it's good enough to make, say, aircraft that fly around the surface, uh, fly on Mars and whatnot. 
Yeah, come on, where do I get the technology to exploit this? I'm really curious if I can click on exactly the right thing. What technology lets me exploit water? Fuel compression and biotech. Physics, low G turbines, advanced probes, extractor amplification, which we already have. From the first day to the sh to the sheer greed was the driving spirit of civilization. Sustainable architect. Oh, ah, that's kind of impressive. We have unlocked all that stuff. We're still waiting for everything to go on here. Oh. Water absorption reactor can extract water directly from the Martian. We've already got that, right? I guess we're going to do something even better. But as soon as we're able to send one of these rockets back, we can, that's when we can actually start having people here. Logi turbines has been researched. Let's research the giant crops. You know, why not? Yeah, carbon monoxide rockets. I haven't talked about those much in any of my other videos, but... It's nice because you don't need to bring any hydrogen with you, you don't need to d extract any hydrogen from the surface of the, the planet or anything, you just need to have the air, the, which is mostly carbon dioxide. You would break off the oxygen, you would essentially have liquid oxygen and I presume liquid carbon monoxide, and then you could get a, a specific impulse about 290. Which doesn't really leave you in a position to be able to get to orbit, but you could build flying vehicles that use the atmosphere's propulsion. Anyway, it's it's an option. It'll be really interesting to see if it ever becomes a real thing. I know we have a Sterling generator there. That's presumably the radioactive kind. Okay, which bit the, these buildings are not working because I can't bring people here because we're waiting for this to refuel. Once I do that, then I can start bringing more materials in. Now let's take a look at my colony overview, right? Uh, okay, yeah, I was worried that we have polymers, we have electronics, we have machine resources parts. Which resources are low? Power shortage? That does look like uh, resources being low. So I'll also need to get a rocket sent out with some polymers soon. And a rocket, actually, we should get a rocket sent out with a factory to make polymers. It'll do that from, uh, you know, water. So that's kind of, you know, that's another thing that we're going to be needing the water for. Want to get this thing into space, please? This is Kim Tae Hee, and you're listening to the Red Frontier. Now, I'll tell you about a true passion of mine, besides baseball, that is. Really? Beer. Ah, you know excellent. That China, where I originally come from, is the biggest beer-producing nation on Earth. No, I did Let's not know that. The next song. I'm not sure I believe you. I want to listen to a different channel now. How about the Free Earth Channel? Ooh, this sounds very much like uh, the turtles or whatever, right? I can't see me loving nobody but you. Okay, totally different tune. Why does this... Oh, man. I built it the wrong way and I need to bring the pipe over. Sector scanned. So take me by the hand. That's better. Okay, where is this? Do we have another anomaly to check? We do. Okay. This. It says medals. We should send it up here, actually, to, to grab these medals. I keep going out into the big map and forgetting. There's our drone hub here that is generating... It is controlling the drone. So your base kind of has to exist within the perimeter set up by these various drone things. I wonder... Uh-oh, who's that? This one? This one? This one, once again, vehicle battery low. 
please scan this and then come on home. Now you can recharge the, ve the vehicle's batteries by sending each other out. But obviously you prefer to bring them home safely so that you don't have to worry about that stuff. The AI does seem to be at least intelligent enough to figure out when it needs to do something about that. Forty fuel! Getting there. Yes! Oh my god! The sensor reading from the anomaly site provided the answer to one of the biggest mysteries about Mars. The explorer examined a mineral cluster and found the preserved remains of microscopic life forms. We've managed to confirm that the deposit originated on Mars, and not one of the many asteroids that pockmark the surface of the planet. The team is ecstatic with the find. If there was past life on Mars, perhaps we are not alone in the universe. So do we publish this as a triumph for the Mars mission, or do we get more applicants? I think I'm going to get more applicants, because I don't have a huge number. So you come back here. Yes, there you go. So how are you doing? You're still harvesting? So he's still harvesting this stuff. Once he's done, we'll bring him home. Reported. Okay, hope you guys are fixing that because I can't babysit you all the time. 46. Still not exploitable. So is it, oh, this is deep water. So we need to figure out the technology for accessing that. Right now, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. I just got to rely on these moisture evaporators to slowly fill the water. Listening to Free Earth Radio on 106.7. Yeah, this FM. uses this I'm is using a lot of water. Providing you a fitting soundtrack for that fabulous life you're living. No, you got to head back. Lots of wiping off the dirt. That is quite a blurb, I'm going to say. Okay, nice chill out music, but not. It's kind of it's kind of stay. <laughs> oh, it does sound like kind of formulaic pop songs, to be honest. Hmm. Like I'm I'm just gonna say I'm not sure how uh, native how much of a native speaker that songwriter is. <laughs> I think they might be doing that with their in-house songwriters. Okay. Come on! I want to get you into space! Because so, we are going to run out of stuff soon. At least this thing isn't refueling right now. Sorry, I'm just listening to this moment. Well, anyway, look. We've had a chance to listen to some radio. I guess we'll switch it on to the next one for episode 4. But until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.